Hi everybody, I would like to share with you a project that I'm working on. What I'm going to be doing is building a Dutch bucket gardening system. So the goal is to have a, a Dutch bucket gardening system, but most of the stuff that I'm going to be talking to you about is automating the water sprinkler system for it. Um, I plan on doing that with uh, solar power and to introduce to you some of the components that I'm going to be using this is a, a 10 watt solar panel I didn't really need too much power because the the water pump that I plan on using for the sprinkler system it only takes about 15 watts and one amp of power um, unless if you buy a really good pump that can run directly off of a solar panel you'll of course need a, a battery to provide a stable power to the to the pump. Now this is a 12 volt uh, 10 amp hour battery. I tried not to go overboard on some of the parts. I tried getting the smallest parts possible for what I need. Um, I chose this battery, the, the 10 amp hour, because uh, what an amp hour is, it means that it can um, provide X amount of amps for an hour. So 10 amp hours means that it will provide 10 amps for an hour. Um, having that said, since this pump only takes one amp, it will run this pump for about 10 hours before the battery is exhausted of all its power. So if I have a, a day or two with no sunlight, I should be in good shape. Uh, when you have a solar panel and uh, a battery, you usually need to have a, a charge controller in between it and what that will do is it will make sure that power doesn't go to the battery unless if it needs it and uh, vice versa it'll make sure that power doesn't go out of the battery towards the solar solar panel now one of the coolest components is this this timer here that's gonna allow me to program the the water cycle for the sprinkler system this runs off of uh, 12 volts DC, which is what you know this solar panel and the battery will provide, and I'll be able to program a schedule to turn everything on and off. Last but not least, there's of course the uh, the junction box that I'm going to be using to put all the components in. Now this box isn't waterproof or water resistant at all, so I'm going to have to be careful. It will be outside, so I'll have to make sure that it has protection from rainfall and stuff. So believe it or not, one of the biggest things of this project was the planning aspect of it. So coming up next, I'm going to talk to you more about the, the research and the planning and some of the things that I found confusing and you know what I did to figure it out. That's coming next.